hello and welcome to my youtube channel and to code hope you guys are doing great so in today's video we are uh, moving and proceeding uh, forward to the concept of the usage of the data type how can we use the data types in c++ in the previous video we have checked out that how can we uh, how can we use uh, what are the data types and in this video we will check out that how can we use the data types for different purposes so let's get started and before starting the video i request you guys to please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my youtube channel so let's get started so as always you just need to open your compiler dev c++ then you need to open the source file in the source file you can write the hash include input output stream this is the first header file then hash include conio dot hash this one is the second header file then using namespace namespace std then integer of the main then get ch so i have created my program structure this one is referred as a program structure all the header files written in it that one is referred as the program structure so now uh, in this video we will learn that all the data types that we that we have studied in the previous uh, video and we will check in this video that how can we implement all those data types so the first data type that we have studied was integer so integer the keyword that is used for an integer is int so int and then uh, number then the number number is a variable name and we want to initialize the int number is equal to 80 so we have initialized our variable with the 80 now we are going to create an other variable with the data type float and in the float we can write a variable name as decimal and in this variable that is named as decimal we are going to initialize 89.8.98 then the third one is int float then we are going to write the uh, data type that is name is care and in the care we are going to write the variable name alpha so in this alpha variable we are going to in this alpha variable we are going to place an alphabet that is that might be a b or c it's on you that uh, what kind of alphabet you want to write inside it then after that we are going to create a variable a double double and we are going to create a variable name as big then 88 and then we are going to uh, we have initialized the same but not we have we are not going to cover this concept that we are initializing and declaring on the same line so for now we have written this and after that the last variable is string and the string in this name is name in the next line we are going to run name hello so we have declared and initialized all the variables now we are going to write C out number and then we are going to end it then C out decimal then we are going to end it then C out alpha then we are going to and C out big and C out name now we are going to press the F11 then save and you will see that these are the how the things are working so that's all from today's video hope you like guys hope you guys like my video and if you like the video then do subscribe my youtube channel learn to code and don't please don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my youtube channel as i am bringing a lot of stuff for you guys related to c plus plus thank you